Thank you so much, George, and thank you to Nampaba for including me among this esteemed group. My 14-year-old daughter recently played Dorothy in her school's production of Wizard of Oz. And it has me thinking about this idea of home, how you get home and who helps you get home. And I know we all like homecoming stories, like LeBron going back to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I just came from the Harvard Law School reception where I was able to hang out with friends who I've known for many, many years who knew me when I was completely lost and had no idea that, uh, what I would do with my law school degree uh, to be meaningful. Um, and so it reminds me that home is really less a place and more about a group of people. So nearly four years ago, I left a job I loved at Asian Americans Advancing Justice, Los Angeles, to work with the California governor, Jerry Brown. And before my current job, my entire career had been spent working with and for Asian Americans and other communities of color on civil rights issues. So coming here tonight to Napaba is really like a homecoming for me. I had some people I really wanted to thank, but I'm worried about the music coming on and pulling me off the stage, so I will do that privately. I just wanted to say that there are so many people in this room who nurtured me and cared for me, co-counseled cases with me, and showed me what it was to be a good lawyer and pushed me to achieve things that I never imagined possible. So I'm just going to end with a quick story. Uh, to get my current position, I had to be confirmed by the California Senate. And on the day before my confirmation hearing, I flew up to Sacramento, and I was summoned to the office of a senior Republican senator. And when I walked in, he said, have a seat. I have something I want to read to you. And so he read, Julie Sue has been an effective advocate for civil rights and workers' rights her entire career. This appointment will take her ass kicking to a whole other level. <laughs> right, that was my reaction. Then he threw the paper on his desk and said, so I need to know, are you planning to be fair or are you planning to kick some ass? So clearly what he wanted me to do was disown my past, to say, well, I might have been a little bit extreme back then, but I've learned my lesson now, that I wasn't some angry Asian girl who's going to come into Sacramento and do something crazy. But I had been a passionate advocate for the underdog my entire career. I had spent my life trying to raise the voices of people who would not otherwise be heard. And it was who I was. And so I said the truth. I said that I would, of course, approach the job with fairness, but fairness doesn't mean that everyone gets treated equally, and I would protect those who deserved and needed protection under the law, and I would come down hard on those who abused, exploited, and mistreated them. And I said that if it took ass-kicking to do a good job, I was not afraid to do it. So apparently that was the wrong answer, because I was, I was walking out before I even left the Capitol building. I got a call from the governor's office saying, what did you say to him? He's going to vote against you. So I'm going to close by saying that that stuff is going to happen. And I've, in my career, I've learned it's going to happen. And not everyone's going to be on your side. Not everyone's going to agree with you. And there will be people who criticize you and laugh at you and tell you that you're crazy. But because of Napaba, because of this community, because of my Harvard Law School alumni friends, because of the people I've gotten to work with at Advancing Justice, I feel like there is a community where people don't laugh at you, where they cheer you on, where they care what happens to you, and where they make you unafraid to fail. And so I just want to express my great gratitude to all of you for the trail that we've blazed together. Thank you very much.